just going to be releasing this video now just to answer a few questions because it's come up a number of times on my channel so I decided to do an extra video for the week the question is how do we add parametric text to a curved surface without downgrading the text or converting it to a sketch it's actually quite simple there's an extra option on the sketch on surface tool in the curves workbench so what I've got is a surface and I've got some text I want to place this across this surface and then edit it afterwards. So to do that, I need to come over to the Curse Workbench, which doesn't come as standard in FreeCAD. We need to add it via the Tools and Add-on Manager. Now to use the tool, we need to select the top and come under Surfaces and Sketch on Surface or use the icon here. We end up getting this Sketch on Surface and inside the map sketch. If I double click that map sketch, we get the layout of that surface. This is construction geometry and it has to be construction geometry in there, otherwise it will actually crash FreeCAD when we exit. So we've got this construction geometry here. I'm just gonna add a square in here or a rectangle in here, just to get myself orientated where this is. If I come over to the model, click that extrude and just hide it we can see that rectangle in there I'm going to hit escape and bring this over so I know the boundaries of this if this text overflows the boundaries it's absolutely fine the reason why we added this if we come to task and hit close though we get this curve coming over the extrude press space on the extrude you can see that curve coming over there if we come down to this matte sketch press the space bar we see this here I'm going to click on this strude and just hide it. We're not interested in this strude as of yet. Now this text has been created over in the draft workbench using the drafting shape from text. And we can add that just by clicking and selecting our font. I'm on Linux, so I have to go to the user share fonts true type. It'd be different if you're on Windows. And if we hit OK, we get that text in there, exactly the same. Just going to delete that one. I'm going to go back to the Curves Workbench. And we've got this sketch that we've shown. So this one here. And that's been mapped to this extrude face. Now, if I take this shape string, and what we're going to do is move it into this area here. So come over to the draft workbench again just to make it easier to move this. And I'm going to click on that shape string, make sure it's selected, and use the move tool. Now we've got the snapping on. So I've got snap center on there. And we just click and move that into position. Now that's moved into position, we can select the sketch on surface and come down to our extra objects. Now this extra objects allows us to add one or more objects to our face. Click the three buttons on the end, select shape string, hit OK. When we click off, that will be mapped to this face. There we go, that's been mapped to that face now. It's around the wrong way so we can do some adjustments. So click on the sketch on surface. All we do is come down and we've got the reverse U. Set that to true. And when we click off, that'll flip it around the other way. So now any amendments to that shape string, let's bring back this string to show you on there. Any amendments to that shape string. And we can change, say, the size and the string that's on there. So click off, that will actually recalculate and change the text and that gets added to that face so that's been added to the face and then we can do our struzons or our fates fill in etc and our thickness and offset it's easier to do it when it's still text on here when we haven't got these set as true it takes less processing power to do it and that's it that's how to get that test on the surface so i hope that's answered the questions and i hope to see you again soon if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. 
I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.